Hi guys, Brian out of here. Uh, I figured it was probably time for a new live split tutorial since it has changed a lot since my last video uh, to get you ready for running Titanfall 2 in 2020 and beyond. Uh, so this is live split right here. This is a super useful program that has now a lot of integrations with Titanfall 2 that uh, can help you more accurately track your splits. Uh, so first thing you're going to want to do is download the program. Uh, there will be a link for the description in, in the below. Generally, generally, you can just Google live split and that'll work. Um, and then you're going to want actual splits. Uh, so most people in Titanfall 2 are going to split by chapter. And fortunately for you, we do have a very handy dandy resources page on our speedrun.com page. If you scroll over right here and you click, it'll bring you straight over to the resources page and you can actually download an any percent template, which will already have uh, all of the split names populated uh, and, all, and it uh, will already have a, like a layout for you as well. So uh, to get started, what you're going to want to do is uh, you'll click edit splits and uh, in this drop down menu right here, you're actually going to want to select Titanfall 2. And when you select Titanfall 2, uh, Live Split will automatically recognize that an auto splitter is available by Fizzy2J. Thank you, Fizzy, for that. And so you're going to want to click activate on it. Um, and when you click on settings, there's going to be this big menu here that has a lot of different options. Um, and so generally speaking, uh, it's going to be working as intended from the beginning, uh, just to split by chapter. But there will there will also be like different little sub splits uh, for each individual segment. And unless you're using like the fast and unless you're using the fast any percent sub splits, like some of the top runners use. Uh, or you're running an IL, you're not going to really need to worry about about any of this stuff. Um, so generally speaking, it'll, it'll say split on level change, split at the end of escape, and remove loads. And with all those three checked, you are good to go. It's also going to start automatically, and it's going to reset automatically when you load into uh, the gauntlet. So uh, these other options are specifically for running ILs. So like if you want the timer to stop at the end of Blood and Rust, you can click this, you can click that. If you want to use sub splits for fast any percent, uh, like when you do the death warp setting up for kill room skip, I'd click this and I would click the split on death warp. But other than that, uh, if you don't want any of that stuff, you don't got to worry about any of this. And then once this is done, uh, the most important thing you're going to want to do now is uh, you're going to want to right click live split go to compare uh, compare against and you want to make sure that game time is checked uh, this will only pause during loads if you have game time checked if you don't have that checked it's not going to remove loads um, and so from there you can there's a few things you can do with your layout uh, this is all going to come down to personal preference but live split has a lot of really handy things that you can do to track your progress uh, there you can uh, check your best possible time which will always show your sum of best minus the time that you've lost versus those times um, other than that you can always compare against different stuff as well uh, you can compare against the last run you've completed you can compare against uh, like your best segments um, there are a lot of different ways you can track uh, your stats so to say for the run but otherwise that's everything you need to know to get started um, if you have any questions, please join our Discord. I will. There will be a link in the description below. And uh, thank you for watching.